You know, for years I used to talk about how mobile was the future of the internet, but not anymore. The future's here. This is Section 3, Lecture 11, Mobile and Your Website. In 2005, Procter & Gamble did a groundbreaking study. It was called FMOT, which stands for the first moment of truth. And that study was covered in a front page story on the Wall Street Journal in September of that year. Immediately, it changed the course of marketing forever. Basically, what FMont means is that it's the first moment of truth. And there are several parts to this. Number one is the stimulus. Say you see an ad on the TV or hear it on the radio, that is called a stimulus. Now you're interested in that product. The first moment of truth, there's seven seconds at stake. When you walk up to the shelf at your grocery store, which product are you going to choose? And then the third moment of truth, of course, is you get home, you try the product, you like it, and you'll buy that item again. Well, a couple of years ago, Google came along and they were very interested in the FMON theory. And they did some research on it. And Google added a step to that. Google called it Zmon, the zero moment of truth. You see, you still have the stimulus and the test and you still try the product, but now you'll go on the internet and talk about this product to some of your friends. This review and reading has become so popular that virtually everyone's doing it, and that's called Zmont. Google did a study and they found that 84% of people are reading online reviews. Not only that, 79% of consumers are taking their smartphone with them when they go to the grocery store and they're reading reviews before they make a purchasing decision. So it's very important from these huge numbers that you have a website that is mobile friendly. Now, the buzzword that you're going to hear from time to time is responsive design. What is responsive design? Responsive design is a website that will wrap, much like a word processor, as different size screens access the website. See, when mobile first started on the internet, you would have several different versions of your website. You would have a version of the website that was actually designed for the mobile phone. And your phone would contact the server. The server would say, which browser are you using? And the phone would answer back, oh, I'm using Chrome, you know, 46B. The server would send the appropriate version of the website. Today, we have one website and the website will move items around based on the screen size of the receiving site. Now you want to be absolutely sure that what your customer sees is the responsive website you think you built. And the best way to do that, go to the Google Developers website. They have an excellent tool. You can find it by simply searching mobile friendly websites. Once you're there, enter the name of any website you would like and Google will run the test for you. Also, you want to look along the right hand side and make sure the way Google crawlers see your site is the way you believe your website looks. Responsive design has become so important, Google is actually penalizing websites that don't use some form of mobile-friendly design. In other words, if someone on a phone searches for your site and they find it, Google will move it down if it's not mobile-friendly. The reason why they're doing that is your finger's so big you can't possibly hit any one of the buttons. Now, it's important that you realize that in different parts of the world, mobile is more more popular than it is in some other areas. For example, I have a customer who targeted Turkey specifically for a website. I found out that 90% of the Turkish people access that Facebook page using a smartphone. And the website that we built for them is getting similar results. So responsive design is terribly important. And I really strongly recommend that if you don't have responsive design, you implement it right away. Guys, coming up next time, it is the death of SEO. 
Lecture 3, Section 12. I'll see you soon.